Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my Premier League predictions. Um, right, first thing first, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the, the link for my merch is down in the description below. Um, so feel free to check out after watching this video. Um, there's a slight thing I want to talk about. Um, Everyone's talking about it. Mark Waterfall was the first referee ever to use a side pitch monitor in the FA Cup game. Nothing to do with the Premier League, but I want to ask you this question. Do you think the, the uh, pitch side monitors will be used in the Premier League more often? Thanks to Mark Waterfall. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's enough talking, so guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Sheffield United versus West Ham. Um, let's go over to the scores first. Sheffield United losing 2-0 away to Liverpool. No real biggie there for Sheffield United. Um, Liverpool have came close a couple of times, um, actually not, uh, you know, get the result. But I still have managed to grind it out. Um, West Ham beat a ball before at home. I wouldn't say that's a big iffy either. I mean, ball with hate have only won one game in their last five. So, you know, but fair play for West Ham for making it such a big margin. Um, going forward, you've got West Ham in sixth deep with 22 points. You've got Sheffield United in eighth with 29 points. Um, as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Um, Arsenal beating United 2-0 at home. Um, Mick Arteta definitely seems to find his feet. Um, you know, as the Arsenal manager, is that because he's under Pep Guardiola for so long, only he knows the real deal. Um, but also, please feel free to put your comments down below if you're an Arsenal fan. Um, Crystal Palace drawing 1-1 one -one away to Norwich. I think Norwich may deserve the three points out of that as well. Um, but look at this game. You know, Arsenal, Crystal Palace. Um, one place between the two. Uh, both have got the same... Form record in their last five, and um, the only difference is between Palace and Arsenal. Arsenal have lost one more game than Crystal Palace, um, but Mikatas is doing so well under Arsenal, and um, so I'm gonna go for a three-one Arsenal win. My next one is Chelsea versus Burnley, and um, Chelsea drawing one-one. Away to Brighton, and you know, very disappointed day that was for uh, Chelsea. Where Burnley losing 2 1 at home to Aston Villa. Um, try to sum it up from the Chelsea's perspective yes, they can buy players this spring. No, which is what I'm expecting from Chelsea. I don't expect them to, you know, not bring no one in after their transfer ban was lifted. Um, Burnley on the other hand are on a bit of a downer, they've won two out of the last five and lost the other three. Um, Chelsea have drawn, uh, drawn, uh, sorry, won two, lost two and drawn one in their last five. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Everton versus Brighton. Um, Brighton 1-1. One, one, Drawn um, at home to Chelsea. Great Jack Bash goal. Um, great over kick by Jack Bash. Uh, you know, very good goal. I, was, I think it's goal of the season. What do you think? Um, or in contention of goal of the season. Um, Everton loses 2 1 away to Manchester City. Um, no real biggie for Everton there either. Um, Everton are doing so well under Carlo and Schlotti. Um, Everton are currently on 25 points. Brighton are on currently 24. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Leicester versus Southampton. Um, Southampton beat the Tottenham one 0 at home. Um, great three points for uh, Southampton there. Leicester draw uh, William three 0 away to Newcastle. Great three points for Leicester there as well. Um, Southampton, you know, sitting in twelfth, twenty five points. Um. I'll bet you self have to fans are glad to keep your manager now. Um, after he's facing the exit door after a poor run of form. Um, Southampton won three out of their last five, losing the other one and drawing the other one. Leicester won two out of their last five, losing two and drawing the other one. Um, Going forward, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Manchester United versus Norwich. Man United losing 2 0 away to Arsenal. Norwich draw with Palace at home 1-1. Um, yeah, again, VAR's in the talking point. Um, I want to know how they're calling this VAR decision when they come in the coming line with the actual play itself. Um, but hopefully, Mark Oliver just slightly turned it and they use the on film monitors to help with the call. Um, but fair play to knowledge. Um, obviously, yeah, United lose a 2 0 away to Arsenal. But now we've also got to take into account that I just lost. 3-1 at home to Manchester City in the FA uh, in the League Cup, sorry. So, you know, is that going to play a big impact? I think it's going to do, and I'll go for a 2-0 Norwich win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Newcastle. Um, Newcastle uh, loses to Leicester 3-0 at home. Wolverhampton loses 2-1 away to Watford. Um, going, f going with this one, I'm going to go for a draw. Um, I'm just going to look at the form table quickly. I don't think that, no, there's not a lot of difference in the form. And I'm going to go for a one on scoreline for that one. My next one, and it'd be one I'll be looking forward to, is Tottenham versus Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool beat the Sheffield United 2 0 at home. Um, Tottenham losing 1 0 away to Southampton. Um, Tottenham only won two out of the last five uh, games. Liverpool, on the other hand, won all five of their previous games. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Bournemouth versus Watford. Um, Watford beating Wolverhampton 2-1 at home. Bournemouth losing 4-0 away to West Ham. Bournemouth are currently now sitting in the bottom three um, with that defeat. Watford are still sitting in that bottom three. But a win this weekend for Watford because they're out the bottom three for the first time this season. Um, but I don't know where Bournemouth's going. So, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Watford win. My last one for this weekend is Aston Villa versus Manchester City. Um, Manchester City beating Everton 2 1 at home. Aston Villa beat Burnley 2 1 away from home. Um, Villa losing 3 out of their last 5, drop, winning the other 2. Man City winning four out of their last five, losing just that one game. Um, going forward with this game, I'm going to go for Man City win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man City win. Um, I'm just, you know, it's going to be interesting for Bournemouth this weekend, and Watford, David Tutu, I'll be keeping an eye on um, going into this weekend. And see where I'm doing my predictions for next week and see where they are in the table. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fuck if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more.
Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.